where you walk around in Hamtramck, there were people living here. Not, not huge numbers, not big numbers like, like today, but there were people that lived here. And they hunted. Do you know hunt? Hunted. Yeah. Bow and arrow? Yeah. yeah. They picked berries. They had fruit. They went to the water fishing. And they had roads through the trees. So they bought things and sold things. They traded things. So it goes back a long way. In the 1600s, the French Remember the water? They came from France on boats and landed here in this area. Detroit. The French name for Detroit. Detroit. And it was French. The Europeans here were French. And they had places where they lived. Hey, Arafat, come on. Along the edge here in Detroit, by the water. Slowly, more people came, more people came. And this side, Canada, was British from England. French and England. And the French and the England had England had a yeah, war. war. The French lost. The British won. Yeah. So now it became English. That was 1600s. Detroit had people living in it for a long time, but Europeans about 1700. Detroit had people living along the water. Europeans, European style. Hamtramck came a little bit later. Remember, what did people do for a living? They were farmers. People were farmers. You raise animals, you grow food, and so people here in Hamtramck, there were farms here. And at that time. Hamtramck became a city much later, I think around uh, 1910 or something like that. Hamtramck became a city connected to Detroit. Streetcars, do you know streetcars? They had streetcars going up through Hamtramck, connected to Detroit. But then you have to remember, when Detroit became the automobile capital of the world, you need to have places for people to live, you have to have places where people work to make a living, and Hamtramck became very big. Um, so that's a little bit, and, and also Highland Park. Same thing. Yeah, so the D Detroit is the, big, the oldest. Yes. And then Dearborn? For Europeans. For Europeans, right. Dearborn, much later. Much later. Yes. Yeah. Which one? I'm trying to call it Dearborn. Oldest. The oldest what? I'm not sure. The same. I'm not sure. And the same time. Um, Dearborn. Um, I think Dearborn probably, uh, older. no, I think Hamtramck is older I'm because, look here, yeah. further away, yeah. because of transportation. How do you get there? easier from downtown Detroit to Hamtramck than to go to Dearborn. Today, driving no problem. 
I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Um, so a little history of Detroit. Um, this. Um, well, let's get started and do Hassan, did you get my phone number yesterday? No. Do you have it? No, no. This, this number? <clears throat> In case you need to call. 248. This is this is very unusual for winter weather. Rainy, cloudy. I heard I heard one today, a term. This one. Two, four, Conditions. How something is. Conditions are are comfortable, not comfortable, old, broken, new. So the conditions for driving is poor. Why? I should have made it bigger. What is that? Yes. It's dark. Yeah. And hazy. You can't see traffic. Yeah. Poor visibility. A v. Adnan, come in. How are you? Fine, thanks. Did you see who came? Have you met? Hmm? You know Hassan? Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. It's my friend. Yeah. And my neighbor too. Neighbor too? And so we have and you know, Hassan. Adnan, Araf, Jamil, 
Yeah, one more from Embassy. Sam. 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 And Arif. And Arif, Ar 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 yes. Yeah. So what does this mean? Visible. 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 What does it mean? What? You can see. What? You can see. Visible. From visible. You can't. You can't see. Remember this in yeah. at the beginning turns it to a negative. Visible, invisible. Go. Poor seeing. Poor visibility. Hazy. Hazy. It's like a cloud yeah. on the ground. Hazy. And the other thing here is foggy. I'll put in here foggy. We're getting all this stuff today. that slippery yes the car <laughs> slippery yes <clears throat> so that's our weather driving conditions yeah <clears throat> if you put your foot on the gas uh, put your foot on the brake you just slide but it's wet <clears throat> um, so that's uh, a little bit about our <coughs> weather. Then our news for today. We'll like this one. The news. This is a big one. If you watch the news, they'll be talking about Debit, but debt. We know debit, like a debit card. <clears throat> debt. What am I doing? That's not a P. That's department. Debt. What is it? Debt. 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 Notice, no B sound. Okay, silent B. It sounds like this. It sounds like debt. Silent B. Debt. What does that mean? Borrowed money. What? Money. It has to do with money. Yeah. Okay, this has, both of them have to do with money. <clears throat> kind of like credit. If you have debt, it means you owe money. So for example,
you owe money. If you have debt, you owe money to someone. The national government The national government spends money. They have a budget, just like you in your house. So when you're in your house, you say, well, I make this money, I spend this money, I don't spend money if I don't have it. But the national government is kind of the same. They have a debt ceiling. What is a ceiling? It means the top. So in this case, the ceiling is not the roof over your head. It means the top. Just like this. I don't remember the number, but I think it's Thirty-one trillion. What is a trillion? Thousand billion. Yes, yes. Billion. Then we go to trillion. So thirty-one trillion ceiling. That's what the law says from the budget. And so, in order to pay their bills, if they don't have it. They have to raise the ceiling. Yes. Where does the federal mo government get its money from? From Donegal What? Take money from Donegal Street. Yeah, they, the federal government borrows money from itself to bondholders. But in order to do that, they have to raise the ceiling. And if they don't, the budget doesn't work. I want to come in and the federal government can't pay its people. Can't pay all its bills. So that's what's happening in Washington, Washington today. And we know Washington is a place for politics. When you have one group and another group and they don't like each other, they don't agree. So this will get worked out, but it's very interesting. That's the news, the big news of the day. This debt ceiling. If they don't raise the ceiling to pay their bills, the people who work for the federal government when they're waiting for their paycheck, no paycheck. And that will cause a lot of anger. If you work all week and your boss says no pay, what happens? How do you feel? No, I'm good. You'll be angry. <laughs> yes. um, so we'll see what happens because your bills keep happening. You still have more pay to pay electricity, food, gas, car, everything, house. And there's no money coming in. So it'd be very upsetting. Uh, this has happened before, but right now, American politics, those of you that have been here a while, know that there's a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing. 
Uh, so the other thing, news. We like to be international. Oh my God! Are you coming back? Oh, okay. How have you been? Yeah. Are you still driving Uber? What are you doing? No, just work a little now and then. Work just because she can. Okay. Oh, which one? Okay. Yeah. Well, just visiting now. Yeah. Just go to the gallery. We're still teaching. Yeah. Good. Right. Yeah. That's good. You could come back if you want. So, uh, students, huh? Mm -hmm. I can come back. Yeah. This is kind of low today. Oh. Yeah. Not so many today. Yeah, because Usually. it's weather maybe. You, you like <laughs> this weather? No. No? <laughs> you know. Yeah, okay. See you. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to Yeah. Okay, hang on. We'll see you. Wait. Wait. Come back. Two seconds. Um, international news. France. Do we all know France? France has a little different economy than the U.S. Thank you. You do want to name me, right? Just Pardon? phone number. No, I mean, just phone number, right? Yeah, just phone number. Yeah. Thank now, where where is the chicken place? Uh, seven Mount. Seven and Mount. Seven Mount. We were just talking about Mount yeah, Road. Yeah. <laughs> Which chicken place? Like a sit Sitco gas station inside. Oh, and they said Sitco station. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They should they usually yeah. do it in, inside gas station stores, yeah. you know. Is it good? Supermarkets. Yeah, it's good. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Working up. Thank you, sir. See you. Bye-bye. Old student. Old student? Yep. Um, what is retirement? After all. Pardon? 65. Retired after 65. No. French, French, 62. 62 years. The president of France wants to raise the age. Great. You're on strike today. Two years. Yeah. They're on strike. Yeah, two years. Yeah. Demonstrating, and mostly, uh, mostly in Paris. Yeah. Big demonstrations in Paris. And uh, why? Why would they do that? Pardon? Save money. Yeah. The go French government wants to save money. Um, in the U.S., we have a different system. In the United States, we have a retirement program called Social Security. Do you know Social Security? Yeah. And Social Security, the age for retirement for Social Security is... I'm sorry. Sixty-two. Sixty-two. You get a small amount of money. Small money. 
You wait till 67, right. it's better. Yeah, but, but, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, that's the national, that's Social Security, which is national. Um, if you work for industry, say, for example, you work at Chrysler, you also have a pension. But in France, all the companies pay in to the retirement. So it's one retirement. Yeah. The French have what's called a social capitalism system. In this country, we have a capitalist system. You're on your own. In France, they have more social uh, programs for medicine, for things for the people. So, they're very angry. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I don't think he's going to do it. I don't think he'll be able to. Macron. Yeah, Macron. Yeah, Macron, um, he's not too popular right now. People don't like him that much. We'll see what happens. Remember, we talk about global things around the whole world. Why do we care about France? Why? Why do people in Washington watch to see what's happening in France? Why? No, I don't know. Well, if the retirement age in France goes up, there will be people in Washington, D.C. that says, U.S. should do it too. That's how that works. They watch to see, can we do it? Or is there going to be too many people angry protesting? Um, you know, the French are into interesting. Uh, French farmers, do you know farmers? Yeah. People who raise things? They were very unhappy with the price of food, the, the price for food they were raising. It wasn't high enough. So they brought, this was a few years ago, they brought truckloads of food to Paris, in the beautiful parts of Paris, and dump the food right in the middle of the city. Truck drivers would drive their truck into the city, turn the key off, the truck just sit there to stop, stop everything from happening. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, okay, let's move on here to Yesterday, I think yesterday we did um, page 14, 15, yeah. and who was not here yesterday? You were not here. Okay. We'll give you this to work on, and For today, this one. Perfect. Take one and pass one. No, wait, no, I gave you the wrong one. Hold on. It should have 1617. Yes. Yes. 1617. Yes. That's all. We did that already. Switch. Yeah. The 
This is from yesterday. Okay. This is for today. Got something from yesterday. I'll show you. Yesterday we we talked about that word. I could just do this on the board. A when clause. When we use a when clause, we, we will show you Okay, when we use when, you're going to have two present verbs. When I go to school, I study. When I go to school, go, present tense, study, present tense. If it's someone else, when he goes to school, he studies. Same thing. Present, present. If it's past tense, when he went to work, he studied. Past tense, past tense. Both of them, both parts, the when and the other part. But when we have a future tense, you only need the will in there some, somewhere to show it's going to be future tense. first part with the when, it's just a present tense verb. When he goes to work, when he, that's present tense, but we don't know its future until we get here. Will. He will drive. Remember, 
we use will for future or remember this going to is going to when he goes to work he will drive or when he goes to work he is going to drive either way will or is going to future. Yeah, for future but you don't have to say when he will go to work he will drive you don't need to do that so we'll we'll find that as we read I, I forgot to show this yesterday now for today we wanted to talk about past participle with the word get. Let's uh, we'll read the uh, 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 conversation, and uh, I think um, we have Emily and Marta. Both women's names, so we'll have Saba and Laga. Lega, I'm sorry, Lega. Be our readers. So very. Uh, how about uh, Saba? You be Emily, and Lega, you be Marta. And let's read this conversation. Go ahead. Marta, Simon, Simon, no here. I am my dear. Wondering. Case man. Made. Made. Very good. Well, I get me. My. my. What? Not my. Get. Close. Close. Uh, clean. 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 Uh, and clown. Clown cleaners. Cleaner cleaners. And I get me. Keys. Keys. Keys me. It's the third one. Start uh, on first day. Great. What about the bus uh, office and I go and I go place to get uh, coffee meat? I usually go to the bus office in her uh, Harbor Street. Harbor Street. Need I get me call copies. Copies me. It's called Kathy's Copy Center. Kathy's Copy Center. Thanks, Martin. You have been a big help. Very good. Okay, a little conversation. Just to take a look here, just to remind us, this one trips us up a lot. Me, my, yeah. The other one, let's see. Um, oh, this one. Forget the TH. Close. I am wearing clothes. If you there's a slight th in there. If you're, it's not clothes. It's clothes. Clothes. Uh, oh, this one. Keys. 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 Okay. Okay, um, let's take a look here at um, some informational questions, and um, we'll start with uh, number one. 
Abdel Kader, can you read number one for us? What does Malta yet have close clean? Some crumbs, 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 crumbs. I get my crumbs. My crumbs, crumbs, crumbs. My crumbs, crumbs, She gets them cleaned at ground cleaners. Where is going to be a place? Yeah. Number two, Jamil. Where can Emily get? Wait, wait. Number two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What does Maya do at the uh, Kathy's? Kathy's center. I can meet uh, a colleague. A colleague. A colleague. A colleague. She gets what? She gets She gets copies made. Notice here, made. M A D E. Made. Made. Long A sound, not mad. Made. Made. Mad. Made. Mad. Made. Long A sound with the E on the end. Mad. Made. I'm mad. Woo. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I made some bread. I made cookies. I made coffee. <clears throat> Number three. Uh, I'm done. Where can Emily get case met? Uh, she get my case, my, my case met uh, at the hardware story. Notice here where it says, and the where home. can. We're going to use the can. Oh, no. She no, can get Keys made. Where? At the hardware. Hardware. Store. Store on first street. Number four, uh, uh, Fekri. Where can Emily get here? Packages. Packages. Mine. Packages. Packages. Mine. Ah. Mail. Made. Made. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mailed, I'm sorry. My bad. Mailed. Mailed. So, where is a place? Is mailed. 
Where do you mail your packages? Where? Notice here it says Does it say in here, does it say in here that she gets her packages mailed at the post office? No. It doesn't. This is one of those things where you have to think about where do people go to mail things. Post office. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look down here at the bottom and it's showing you This is the the grammar that we're talking about here is a past participle. Notice, can get mailed. She gets cleaned. Gets made. Get made. Notice, these are all past tense forms. ED. ED. This is an irregular. Make, made. Same thing here. So let's t look down here at the bottom. The little chart in the bottom. So, uh, Hassan, if you'll read the three sentences. I get my car washed every Sunday. We get. We our, got. We got. Our picture taken. They will get the roof ne fixed next year. Very good. Notice the first one is present. Yeah. The second one is past. Present. And the third one is future. future. Mm -hmm. But notice the past participle. The first one is washed. The third one is fixed. And the middle one in there is taken. Sometimes the past part participle is the same as the past tense. So in this case, This is the past tense of the word take. Yeah. Took. Okay. It's irregular. Yeah. But you don't say, we got our picture took. Because it's not the correct 
past participle. Taken. Taken. Yeah. We have to pay attention to these when it'll fill in for you because you'll hear it. Many of them are just the ED form and that's okay. Um, let's take a look here. Um, Take a look at part C. This is the past participle. Same as the past tense. ED. What's the second one? Cut. 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 The same. No change. Next one. What? Fix it. Fix it. Fixed. Fixed. Almost. What's this word? Fixed. 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 It's T sound at the end. Fixed. Nope. Fixed. 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 Yep. Fixed. Fixed. Remember ED is ed, d, or t. And this is a t fixed. Next one. Next one. Taken. Taken. Very good. Six. Painted. Painted. Just put up here. Painted. Good ED. Next one. Cosh. Arafat, what is it? Cosh. Cash. Cashed. I cashed my check. I cashed my check. Not cashed. Washed. 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 Not wash it. Washed. I washed my hands. If you say wash it, you'll be understood. But we'll work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Next one. Change it. Changed. 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 I changed my shoes. Changed. Changed. It's a soft D. Yeah. And the last one? Me. 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 No, not make. Making. Me. Okay. 
Just because. Why? Because, because, because. Right. Yeah. It's not my fault. Okay. I'll give you a few minutes to try D. Make five sentences. Remember, unscramble means they're all mixed up. You fix it, put them together in the right way. Uh, let's see, somewhere here I think I have a sign-in sheet. Air 